Hours passed like seconds, seconds like hours. Olivia's body twisted inside out, and waves of heat and cold rippled across her skin. She smelled blood and meat. Her mouth watered. She swallowed against the nausea, only for it to come roaring back. Ready? She shook her head, worrying what would come out if she opened her mouth. It's okay, Liv. It'll be okay. Something inside her ripped, and she felt liquid seep down her legs, soaking the sheet beneath her. She shivered. Get ready, Olivia. We're almost there. The room had taken on a smoky quality. She blinked and it cleared for a second, long enough that she saw the bloody fabric by her feet, the murky puddle on the floor. Is she supposed to? There's a lot of... It's fluid. A giggle choked the back of her throat. Of course blood was fluid. No. Wrong word. Viscous. Vicious. Viscera. Coppery and unnervingly cold. Up on your elbows now. Olivia didn't have elbows. Or arms. Or legs. She was on fire. Here we go, and... Push. After it was all over, after they whisked the baby away, leaving Olivia spent and sweaty and broken in the middle of the bed with fresh stitches between her legs, a janitor mopped her fluids up off the floor while a ring of keys jangled merrily on his hip. Don't worry, he said. I've seen worse. The midwife popped up from between her legs, waving a white cloth like the last few hours had been some twisted magic trick. There, you'll have to keep an eye on that for a few weeks. You'll want to avoid wiping while that heals. We'll send you home with some stool softeners and a fun little squeeze bottle. You'll be fine. Olivia's midwife's name was Happy. She liked breathing exercises to the beat of Another One Bites the Dust and fun little squeeze bottles and tie-dyed hair wraps. She patted Olivia's thigh before easing her leg down flat. The epidural had only worked on the left side of her body, so while her right side had been in agony, she'd screamed at the nurse to catch the left leg before it fell off the bed. She still couldn't feel it and in her post-birth haze, imagined herself a one-legged Barbie, hopping on tiptoe through her pink and purple dream house. You did good, Happy said. Really good. On the other side of the room, Olivia's baby shrieked. Her skull tingled with the force of it. Is she okay? More than okay. The louder, the better. Olivia's wife, Chris, didn't seem to think so. Chris leaned over the side of the bassinet where another nurse poked and prodded and cooed. 